Okay, everybody, welcome to your first Python and MySQL tutorial. Today we're going to be using a ma uh, module PyMySQL. Uh, this is going to allow us to connect with our database that we're running, whether we're using XAMPP or XAMPP or MAMP or whatever you downloaded to access MySQL or PHP MyAdmin. Um, you can also do this with uh, Mongo, too. And for those of you who don't know, Mongo is a NoSQL system, which is a little different from what we're using, um, which is a relational database management system with uh, MySQL. But anyways, you're going to need to have this package installed. So the way I do it, or basically I install every other package I have in Python that's not native to my IDE, I'll go to my command prompt. And if, if I'm running something like an idle or I'm using another IDE, um, I'll use this to install. So it'll be pip. And if you guys don't have pip, um, you're going to have to download that from the internet. So just look up a tutorial on that. I'm sure you guys can figure that out. So pip install. Uh, pi and follow this exact casing so pi my SQL and that'll get it installed in your machine if you're like me and using anaconda because anaconda is an awesome IDE you can go to your anaconda prompt and literally say the exact same thing um, and it'll work fine so with that being said we're gonna need to import this so import pi my, pi my SQL dot cursors and this is going to allow us to communicate with the database and move over it so we need that, and we also need XAMPP. That's what I use. Um, you can use MAMP, it'll do the same, or whatever you really want to use, I don't care. Um, but you want to make sure your Apache and MySQL servers are started, okay? So you want to actually get to this window too. So this is going to be your PHP My Admin window. So all you're going to do for that is literally type in localhost slash PHP My Admin, and it'll work fine, you'll get to this window. This is going to be what we use to uh, look at and actually see what changes we're making to our database. So with that being said, let's get into it. Um, first thing we're going to do is create a database. So I'm just going to make a comment, create database. And we're going to split this up in a couple tutorials. We're going to be creating a database, inserting data, querying data, creating tables. Um, so I'll split it up in multiple videos. So sorry, that's my phone ring. <laughs> so we're just going to say, first, we need to establish a connection. So this is going to simulate a socket with the database. So connection equals pi my SQL dot connect. And we need to insert some information here. So we need to say the host name. So for me, it's going to be local host. For all of you, it's probably going to be the same. Uh, user equals root. And you can change this in the... Uh, uh, Pi my or not Pi my SQL PHP my admin window. If you so choose, you're just gonna have to update this later. If you do do it, port equals three three zero six, and then I don't have a password, so password equals blank. Okay, awesome. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually establish a database. So try, and it seems like we have a syntax error here. Um, Hold on a second. So try, and then finally, okay, cool. Um, so it's going to be try with connection dot cursor. I'm going to be using the cursor as cursor. Okay. So we're going to say cursor dot execute, and what execute's going to allow us to do is actually execute a query in SQL. Um, so we want to keep the same syntax we're going to be using in SQL that we'd be using in the SQL prompt window. So create database tutorial underscore database one. Okay. And then after finally, we're going to want to close out our connection with the database because that's a uh, good practice to do. Um, and let me just fix this syntax error right here. Okay. So host equals localhost, user equals root. Um, let me see, hold on a sec, what's going on, I can't see, oh here it is, I forgot the comma, okay, cool, and let's try this, you have an error in the SQL syntax, um, okay, let's see what's going on right here, this has to be with this. I misspelled database. Whoopsie. Slacking today. 
And boom, we're done. So we created a database and we can check if it exists in the PHP my admin window. Okay, so let's just refresh this. And I made a bunch of tutorial databases, so this is going to be tutorial database one. Okay, so there it is. We created a database, and that's just one of the many things we can do within this module. So I'm probably going to end the video here. In the next video, we're going to be actually um, writing a table into the database. Okay, um, yeah, so take it easy and have a good day.